Here, good girl. Good. Nalu is on the hunt. Giddy up each sniff. We got one. Gets her a little closer to the ultimate prize. There we go. Oregon truffles. Yeah, it's, it's just a really fun experience. It's really good for the animal too. Nalu is Makalea Napoleon's pup. She is a rescue mutt from Texas and she's been training for about two years now. They're sharing their skills and knowledge as part of the many experiences you can try for yourself during Newburgh's Truffle Month. Newburgh, it is kind of the epicenter for the wild truffle universe, in my opinion. Uh, they grow all the way up into British Columbia and down into Northern California, but really right there in the central uh, Willamette Valley, it's the hot spot. Stefan Zernecki is the owner of Black Tie Tours, offering these one-of-a-kind truffle adventures. Is that your truffle? It starts with a truffle hunt in the woods with experienced truffle hunter Nalu, who you already met. Nice job, baby. And newcomer, Ash. Ash is a puppy and still kind of learning. He's only seven months old. There he goes. And as part of our truffle tour, I got to be part of his training. So what we're going to do is hide some truffles. Truffle? I'm going to kind of guide him to that area. Get those wiggles out. And hopefully he can find them. But we're also going to mark that. And the flag. So I remember where they are, but then also, like, if he doesn't find them, we can go back and get them so we're not just feeding the squirrels. La roof. And it didn't take long for Ash's novice nose. Is there one there? To find the first truffle. That's it? Good boy! The next one Ash. took just a bit longer. La roof. That's French for truffle, by the way. And it's Ash's command word to start sniffing. A truffle is a fungus. It's similar to a mushroom, um, but also different in some ways. As it grows and ripens, more like an avocado, that's where the magic really happens. That's roof. Because they, they start giving off gases, aromatic gases. Really, that's what makes truffles special. They are just intoxicating and just gets all the senses involved. And after all that foraging in the forest, you really work up an appetite. Yeah, so we're just going to go up to this little barn up here. It's been upfitted for uh, higher end stuff like on our bougie tour. That's where a uniquely crafted culinary encounter awaits. Oh, it already smells so good. Hello. Chef Eric always has a uh, hot soup ready. Chef Eric Caballero, owner of Caballero Catering and Paradiso Restaurant in Salem, uh -huh. serves up dishes infused with and accompanied by none other than truffles. That's just comfort food right there. And there are plenty of ways to get your fill of truffles in Newburgh. Basically the month of February, we like to show off our local truffles. The Allison Inn has been filling up with truffle-minded travelers. And whether you book a room or come for the day, executive chef Jack Strong has infused truffles into the menu at their restaurant, Jory. Smell the black truffle oh, on that? Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Uh, Oregon truffles are just such a unique, amazing bounty. And so here for us, we want to highlight it. On today's menu, mouth-watering 48-hour braised beef short rib. We have our black truffle grits, fresh Oregon black truffles, and then a nice rich demi-glace that we braised it in to finish it off with our forage mushrooms and romanesco. It's earthy and it's, it's, it's aromatic. Uh, it hits all senses, and I think umami is the best way for me to say it. So whether you're enjoying the flavors found on Oregon's forest floors oh, or foraging with trouble hunting dogs, Ash, come here. Truffle Month in Newburgh is a great way to learn about and taste a part of Oregon's bounty. Here. Here.